Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be watching Star Star Slop review Tart Tart Edition. Oh my god! By Set Tech. I mean, listen, it's a, it's an enjoyable game. I won't say um, Starfield isn't enjoyable, but compared to Baldur's Gate or like Cyberpunk currently, it just doesn't have doesn't have the same levels of like you know. Not loading screeningness, you know, but, like you go from Underdark Gym Forge to Blighted Village, or like even uh, I don't know the Grove, and there is no loading screen. You only get loading screens between arcs. But in this game, in Starfield, every action seems to have a loading screen, and that's just just not fun. It's just not fun. I played for like sixty hours, and that's like I could, all I could give it, give it, to, give to it because I was so bored. So yeah. Not for me, maybe. I loved Bethesda games. I don't know what happened. Three, two, one, go. Hey, hey, Star Sisters. Seth here. Oh Let me tell God. you a vision of a future. In a future, white Star boys sisters. can finally jump <laughs> with the help of a booster pack and, of course, low gravity. Humanity has spread across the stars in their multitudes yep. of diverse races and cultures. The Red Guard, the Sons of Yakub, Hispanics, honorary... <laughs> <laughs> Sons of Yakub. In their multitude. <laughs> Is Yakub... Yahoo! ...of diverse the races prophet. and cultures. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> the Red Guard, the sons of Yakub, Hispanics, honorary Aryans, and the Fingolian Chindonesians now populate the vast expanse of space. <laughs> Naturally, we never did find a solution for automation. So in the future, the only career paths are uh, space pirate, space pirate with a voice filter, or religious extremist. Parents <laughs> send children away with teary eyes, knowing full well their offspring will grow up to become murderous bandits before putting on their own helmets and shooting up the 7-Eleven. And the PS5 still has no games. That vision oh is already here, Star Sister. That, that, okay, that, 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 that's not... Because the best game ever made, that, no, the best fault. game that will ever be made is already out, and there's no competition. Baldur's Gate? <laughs> yeah. More like three-hour, unskippable gay sexy star <laughs> You can skip everything with right click. Like legit, there is no. Oh God, I can't Guild, skip it. A masterpiece where I can live out my fantasy of being a Bangladeshi man with a ten eyes. Starfield wins Game of the Year Lovely. for their food models alone. Just look at the grease on the. Yeah, that is basically half of the Reddit. It's just like the people pay, taking picture. Of, like that's how dumb is the game. Like people taking picture of their food, bro. No one's talking about the game. I mean, people talked about the gameplay and people who hated it just quit already. So why why would they bother? So yeah, they talk about the d bullshit food textures. And sausage. That's the difference ray tracing makes in a game like this. Which runs, that's the difference ray tracing. Cut them. I don't have ray tracing. <laughs> what the fuck? <coughs> Racing makes in a game like this, which runs buttery smooth Jesus on my 4090, Christ. pushing a blazingly fast 17 frames a second. I'm quite fine with this since, according to the science, the human eye can only see 24 frames a second. That's bullshit. That's such bullshit. That's such bullshit. In bro, if you play a game at 60 FPS, you can't you can't go to 50 or like 40. You can't. Like seriously, your eyes adapt to that beautiful, like a smooth frame rate. And if you go like uh one fourth, what was it? One uh, hundred and forty-four or like two hundred forty hertz? Look, like, bro, that's like insanity. I could not even fathom that beauty. Sometimes and my I can never get, get corrupted it. and I lose progress. But in my deep un the human eye can only see twenty-four frames a second. Sometimes my saves get corrupted and I lose God. progress. But in my deep unhappiness, I realize I get to have those unforgettable experiences all over again. We must imagine that God. we are Sisyphus. <laughs> the boulder forever uphill for in the struggle we find meaning ask not what todd howard can do for you but instead what you can do for todd howard a good game <laughs> has <you>. memorable characters <laughs> but an amazing game is one where you don't remember a single person at all starfield is to role playing yep. what dementia is to the elderly and now for a word from our sponsor oh my god that's such a good description fuck like it makes you want to forget oh god
That's 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 why that's that's so fucked up about this game. Yeah, I will never forget King like Yarl Balgrav because he had such a unique voice. He legit just gave you his own axe from his back, man. Like how cool is that? Meanwhile, you have to give tea to these motherfuckers. We don't even—I forgot the fucking Eugene Industries and all that garbage. Holy shit! It was fun for a second when you were like hunting aliens. There was first context and shit. But then it was like boring as garbage, the same shit looping on every other planet. The flesh is weak. I crave the strength and certainty of steel. I crave displate. Yo, what? Why is that Just ginger dude one of a kind biting the dude's a neck? poster designed to capture your unique passions. But Zeph, I hear you cry. I've already shit. got my passions captured. Uh-huh. And how's that working out for you? What if you wanted to put up another one? Have fun wrangling the packaging, flattening it out, finding Shoot. the right size poster frame, and of course, mounting the damn thing. <laughs> Say goodbye to the hassle with Displate. All you have to do is open it up, stick on the magnets, and oh hey, we're done. Displate has a vast array of high quality, official magnets. art to choose from, and they're always expanding their collection. Ch Check out my top picks. Terrible. We've got Dark Souls, Mortal Kombat, Sonic, Jericho. and of course, Skyrim, Skyrim, and Skyrim. In Todd, we trust. <laughs> and if you're not a gamer, that's fine Fun too. Display has posters top. for every no. passion. Cars, ducks, Elon Musk. Hey, you man. want it? They've got it. Just think, you could have any one of these at your door in Are less than a week. Freedom? And on your wall in you less than a minute. Behind? Just visit display.com forward slash seftzintech or use... To be fair, I'm using green screen, so uh, it doesn't even matter. off on all oh, designs. That's Personally, Shit, you'll that's... never see me with a paper poster ever again. I'm filing for divorce, taking the kids, and using display for all my future wall decorating As needs. Should. The strongest skill in this game, better. following tradition, is persuasion, which lets you walk away from the last fight by saying, what if we don't? This system works by stringing random sentences together with a case. The random sentences are such bullshit, man. Sometimes it just breaks the immersion so bad because it's it doesn't even matter to the it conversation. It's the crackhead until the recipient gets visibly uncomfortable and leaves. Something that High Fleet would shamelessly steal. The true purpose of persuasion, however, is to gaslight like companions. Backwards. Sarah is strongly opposed to the harm of innocent people, so appropriately, in the style of a cartel execution, I ventilate someone's cranium. She screams at me. What the hell is the matter with you? I persuade her that I'm sorry and I'm going to do better. I'm not sure there's anything you can say at this point. As strange as that sounds, I suppose that's possible. Look, that's stupid. I realize things out here can be rough. So I'm going to let this go. Yeah, this happens so for now. far, and then far I do it again. I mean, literally, every, literally every pirate mission you do. Like, you're a pirate. You're supposed to be infiltrated. Oh my god, spoilers. You Fuck are. It. I'm just not sure I can travel with you on this path you've chosen. Bitch! This is, single-handedly, the most entertaining thing in this game. Just try to be more careful in the future. Otherwise, you'll find yourself traveling alone. I am not going to help you murder you and I. <laughs> the second most entertaining thing in this game is joining the pirate oh, faction as a double agent, and in the process, becoming a triple agent. I have chosen to join the war on terror. On the side of terror, I can play entire missions without shooting a single shot, because guess what? Half the entire game is now friendly to me. I watch caravans get lit yep. up with the same interest as a youth in the projects witnessing a drive-by. <laughs> the streets give, and the streets kill take. Them. Story. I have had paranoid hallucinations with more... Lovely thing is, if you kill everything, like if you have bounty on everyone, you can just go clear it up on the place you don't have it and just go back like nothing the happened. Streets give and the streets Lovely. take story. I've had paranoid hallucinations with more coherence than the plot of this game. Spoiler, it's Skyrim in space. You must become Starborn to use the magical <laughs> Fusro Da to kill Parthenax, who in this case is yep. other Starborn from other universes yep. that you must defeat to go to another universe and start New Game Plus. Multiverse theory is appealing to fans of Rick and Morty because it implies the existence of a dimension where you haven't been molested. There's copy Oof. online that there's differences between universes that's the and truth. no run is the same. Uh, yes, one place in the game changes. The emissary is always whoever dies in your current run. <laughs> and there's a universe where Sarah is a potted plant. Objectively, this is the best universe. And there's a universe where Sarah is a pot. Yo!
Like, that's the best fucking universe. On a plant. Objectively, this is the best universe because she doesn't talk. Yet, I heard some people even romanced this creature. If you find such dialogue How? captivating, I recommend intimacy with a drywall. My <laughs> favorite part of the story was attending a funeral. Not only to interrupt it, Jeff, but I'm starting the firefight. Almost everyone involved is an essential NPC, so the shootout will never end. Question. When we have an infinite amount of universes... Almost every fucking NPC in this fucking game is a fucking essential NPC, man. Like, every, every NPC... You can kill them unless unless they're shooting at you directly. You can't be you can't be unloved. When we God. have an infinite amount of universes, so that means we have no consequences. Anything. And the mantis fucking armor looks awful. Walking through a portal. So why can't we kill essential NPCs? Why even have a setting if you're not going to make use of it? This aggravates me to no end because everyone I want to shoot is a higher entity made yeah. of light. For example, there's a side quest where a 200 year old ship from Earth, developed before the invention of a grav drive, has reached the planet resort of Paradiso. You negotiate on their behalf and are given three options. One, send every colonist to work as an indentured slave for the corporation. Yeah, basically. Two, pay out of pocket for a grav drive and for send them to it move to bother someone them. else. Or three, eliminate the last practicing Jew in the universe. I'm not making this Let's up. There's it. a colonist on board who's preserved Hebrew rabbinical teachings. And the third option... All right, I, I, I'm pretty sure there are more Jews in the entire universe. Jewish people in the entire the universe than these two. This dude was just probably paranoid and was like, oh shit, everyone's dying. And these, the, everyone on this ship was paranoid. Like, sis, that's Jew the whole the point. Universe. I'm not making this up. There's a colonist on board who's yeah. preserved Hebrew rabbinical teachings. And the third option is Yiddish. the corporation asking you to destroy the ship. Scott what the Yiddish. Austrian painter started, Todd will finish. What is this quest design? You present me with three terrible options, and my immediate response is to shoot up the board of directors. But I can't because I'm not allowed to. Because the yep. talent in this company has dried up and left a long time ago. But it doesn't matter because Bethesda spits out a game every few years for their target audience. Dads. I get it. You have two kids. You're in your mid-30s and you have time uh -huh. for exactly three games a year. I don't <laughs> judge. So, We're so all busy. So really but this well, game is so immune to criticism up. because the people you're arguing with don't have that much time or investment. They see a crater, they soy pog, and then they leave. That's why if somebody defends this game, don't give them a hard time. They have it hard enough already between uh -huh. uh, beating their spouse and their children. And they still Basically, say they're men can't multitask. Gameplay. This game features challenging and intriguing puzzles such as fit the shape into the shaped hole <laughs> and replace the battery. Baby Considering puzzles. the majority of Xbox players have never replaced a smoke alarm, this is a novel concept as it requires... I, I've never seen one. How, what is in a smoke alarm? I mean, it probably is something that like first world countries use. I never seen one. And maybe in a hospital or like a bank. I saw one, but I never For opened one. To now. deduce that the ubiquitous chirp in the hallway oh, is in some again. way quantum connected to the set of Duracell batteries you hold in your hand. Clearly, I didn't pay enough attention during character creation. As once I finished the game, I was very surprised to hear my character's voice. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. Not like Fuck I missed that. anything. All the perks are garbage. Wanted is one of two perks that actually does anything because you get bounty hunters chasing you. The other being kid That's stuff, cool. which gives Americans the experience of two loving parents that aren't divorced. For the nation holding the world record in broken <laughs> homes, a stable. Twenty-three. <laughs> where are we? The other being kid stuff, which gives Americans the experience of two loving parents that aren't divorced. For the nation holding the world record. We are three to six point percent. Oh, oh, oh my God! US is twenty three percent. Oh my God! A, homes, kids. a stable family Jesus. is science fiction. I spent a bunch of time modding guns, only to find out that guns don't scale whatsoever. Nope. Attachments on lower level weapons Jesus. are a waste of time. Let me tell you how you're actually supposed to do it. You fly into a level seventy five zone, but instead of being insta killed, you cast Creator's Peace, which makes enemies drop their guns. You bring them back, <laughs> tweak them on a workbench, and yeah. now you no longer have to complain about bullet yes, sponges. Holy Personally, shit. I enjoy shipbuilding. Yes, I'm aware of a hollow shipbuilding ship is fun. Shipbuilding is probably one of the best parts of this game. I just hope that you could share ships easier with, with the code or something. With other people, and now, you, know? you no longer have to complain about bullet sponges. Personally, I enjoyed shipbuilding. Yes, I'm aware of a hollow ship exploit, but I didn't really need it. Because all I ever do is one-shot the engine with electromagnetic and board their ship. After which, I disarm them with creator's peace and individually fistfight the entire crew. <laughs> 
It's really fun. And if I cast Parallel Self, uh, I can role play as if we're having a civil dispute at the Bangladeshi border. I love it so much. I found out companions <laughs> don't use ammunition, happened, which is sh- convenient because for some reason this game lets you craft everything except ammunition, some of which is highly specific and not sold by most vendors. In contrast, crafting ingredients are sold by the dozen, trivializing their collection and destroying any incentive you had to find them yourself. So, I thought it would be interesting to try make my outposts sell. In, in contrast, which is highly specific and not sold by most vendors. In contrast, crafting ingredients are sold by the dozen, trivializing their collection and destroying yeah. any incentive you had to find them yourself. So, yeah. I thought it would be interesting to try make my outposts sell by use open board, using then only resources you can buy I can find. It took me two full days before I found a planet. All right. Using an open world until you can buy is only only feasible if it's a multiplayer game with PvP. Because usually the city is filled with like higher level people, so you want to use the jungle, use the land to make some resources, build some shit, and then get out. But again, I mean, this is a fucking bit. I, I have no fucking idea about why they went that route. The incentive you had to find them yourself. So, I thought it would be interesting to try make my outposts self-sufficient, using only the resources I could find. It took me two full days before I found a planetary source of sealant. For reference, Holy this shit. is a common organic ingredient necessary for most structures. And where did I find it? Middle of nowhere on a toxic bio, meaning I needed to reach the bottom of a science tree and have free tears into planetary habitation before I could make planetary habitation. So- then it doesn't worth it if it if the end game if after chilling the last boss you get the best weapon then the game doesn't worth it you need to get some good stuff so you can beat the last boss with what's the point of getting the best stuff at the end when there is nothing to fuck no, with? in case you're ever tempted to do what i did don't. I remember once I saw a live leaks video Jesus with some Chinese farmers throwing pigs into an open ah. pit and setting them on fire with kerosene. Starfield allows you to not only recreate this video, but use it for infinite experience. What I did was set up several alien breeding facilities and boxed them in. Then I built a macro script to throw incendiary grenades at set intervals, firebombing all the cows, waiting for them to respawn, only to firebomb them again. I could oh, leave my desk and come insane. back several levels higher. Generally, however, Outpost development is a hellish experience, and that's because I mean, you can uh, speed up that with cheat engine too, and maybe lower the like intervals of the sh- like the timer, so it's it's just it happens over like two hours. Generally, however, Everything. outpost development All is a levels. hellish experience, and that's because the game has no system to track how much you need and what you need. Your best bet for memorizing a recipe is using pen and paper. The alternative to that is jumping across load screens, walking to the vendor, buying what you assume is enough, returning to the outpost, but you can see, you can, okay, is you can mark stuff, so you can still mark stuff. The alternative stuff. to that is jumping across load screens, walking to the vendor, buying what you assume. And you can see, you can see that he has marks. Why is he buying Food everything? Is enough, returning to the Jesus. outpost, only to find out you're missing, like, two adhesive and need to go all the way back. You this game is an exercise in how many load screens can you tolerate before choosing to end it all. No wonder yeah. nobody ever got that Steam refund. We spent two whole hours docking and undocking. There's a lot of these transitional animations, and it's not that they're painfully goddamn slow. It's that I can't skip them. I yeah, it's all right. It is the worst. It is the worst. But it's, okay, it's gonna get a lot of hate. But there's a mod that it speeds up up like by five times, and it's, it's, it's actually there's really a lot good. of these transitional animations. And it's not that they're painfully goddamn slow. It's that I can't skip them. I understand that this is a small indie company, and maybe resources are stretched thin between the nice. award-winning dialogue and the <laughs> NPCs that hit you with that fluoride stare. But when the solution is it's so simple so and terrifying obvious, and you ugly. can't help but ask, what's going on at Bethesda? Despite having no access to the construction set, the modding community Kalimfield, <laughs> yeah, that's one. That's that's a good one. That's a really good one, bro. S S is extended. That's like the best thing ever. Then you want a star, a star UI, like it's basically a sky UI. It's so good. It gives you sorting of everything. Has managed to fix many of the so issues. Good. However, even if they do release the tool set six months down the line, I don't really trust this company to not screw me over. Remember, the only reason we don't Probably. have paid mods is because of pushback. Believe me. They'll try again. The only potential redemption of this game is the release of a full construction set, because the only way the fans could save this game is to wipe it clean 
and make something else. Look, Holy I shit. figured it out. I know why I'm uh, so uh, angry. Let's hope, not let's let's hope they can. Let's hope they can. It's it's copium. I mean, it's 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 impossible. It's impossible. Like Bethesda's gonna just give them the mod mod like system, right? You can just add stuff and replace some of the data. I know why I'm so angry. I'm not angry at the game. It's not even that. At the bad. level of a Skyrim, I'm angry can because I paid a hundred bucks for it. The king of a chess club has done it again. Each oh, time I tell myself, no, not this time. But I already know Todd's gonna tell me lies. Tell me sweet little lies. And each time, I, times I understand I've said some polarizing things, but in truth, I just needed a video because I signed a lot of contracts while drunk. So don't take anything I say seriously. It's all bait. But what if it isn't? Country what if it's back, actually please. my unfiltered dog shit opinion? As always, more content to come. Oh, that's why we're here, I'm man. That's, we're literally here to hear your dog shit opinion. That, that, that's why it's unique. That's the whole reason. As always, more content to come because I'm legally obligated. A warm thanks to the many How? members of a merchant's guild Are you? generously funding and bankrolling these videos. You're all truly wonderful. Have a good Fuck, one. Trade Authority. Hey, hey, that Zip. dude is so fucking annoying. There is a bald dude in Trade Authority that just says, just says you that he's a criminal and give me crime and give you. Oh, I buy that shit. It's like, fuck, fuck you, man. He's seen each other like more millions of times. Shut up and let me drop all my garbage. But yeah, so that was, that was sure. There is no credits, nothing. But yeah, that's what the, that was it. And stuff with, I mean, yeah, it was fun with like 20, 40, 50 hours. <coughs> and what's fun about it is that you can just like play a, as a pilot in the space and just have fun with that and go, go inside, kill everyone. You get some funny encounters. After that, it becomes so... Basically, everything repeats itself. The grammar repeats itself. The fucking... Every encounter almost repeats itself. It just gets so fucking boring. And the space is even more boring. Because it's just... It's it's the same. It's, I, I can't get closer to that. Because Elena Pierce was a dead it And went through Mercury. What the fuck happened? Why, Todd? Why did you do that? Why is, why is it? Mm, fuck it. Why, why, why bother? Why is it cooperate? See you all later and thanks for watching.